Hello and welcome to another update. In this one, I'll be covering the Luhansk front, followed by an analysis of the training grounds in Belarus, as well as a comment by former Colonel Douglas McGregor, who mentioned that there is about 540,000 troops in Belarus ready to fight, uh, including 5,000 heavy equipment, and I'll be comparing that to my analysis of the training grounds in Belarus. However, starting out, we'll be updating the Luhansk front, where there has been reported a lot of clashes here in the Luhansk front in the Le Mans direction, where Russia is reporting, according to Ryber, that both sides are advancing in this area and are clashing to prevent and hold the front line because the Ukrainians want to retake the ground that the Russians have recently captured after the Ukrainians attacked Chervonopopivka. And Russia has since then counterattacked and taken back some ground, and then Ukraine has started attacking again. So they are attacking on both sides right now, uh, facing off in this open shield. And that's it for the frontline update. Now on to the Belarus update. We see that there are eight locations, according to this picture, you can look at it here. There are eight training grounds, so I have tried mapping them out according to uh, what I found, and all but two are military training grounds. There were two specifically that could be uh, artillery training grounds, and the rest are division-sized personnel training grounds. This is one of the ones that is most likely artillery, as we can see here, there's a lot of artillery marks on the ground as there has most likely been shot at for target practice. I'm not exactly sure where exactly the military base is, but it is somewhere in this area as there is clear marks of training ongoing in this area. Other than that, there's a single military airport here south of uh, Beranovici and the rest are military training grounds. So with this, we know that there is approximately seven division-sized training grounds and one military airport. So the Air Force is outside my field of knowledge. However, the rest of the training grounds are most likely working and training in an order similar to what the Russians are doing right now with their mobilized personnel, which means that they are doing three months intervals where they're training the soldiers for three months and then they're switching up who they're training. These guys have been training since April, which is eight months ago, which means that there's been eight months ongoing training and it keeps being, and the deadline keeps being delayed by a week every time for the 33rd week in a row, which means currently we're seeing the third batch. If we estimate that every batch takes three months, 12 weeks. So we have the third one that will finish in three weeks time. And with that, we will have seven times three, which is 21 divisions. And if every division is full strength at 20,000 soldiers, that's 420,000 soldiers. On top of that, we have the 150,000 troops from the mobilized forces that are in reserve, adding that to the 420,000, that's 570,000. And we can plus minus some uh, according to field of error or if they aren't fully completed uh, divisions and so on uh, to match match that with colonel douglas mcgregor's statement of 540,000 troops if that is the case then we have 540,000 troops stationed in belarus alone if 540,000 troops invade ukraine from the north ukraine will have nothing to stand against that because most of Ukraine's armies in the south and the northern part will at most have 100,000 troops. This will have the U this will have the Russians outnumber the Ukrainians five to one in the north and one to one in the south, which means that the Ukrainians will be either have to split their forces up in two and be a, a, at a disadvantage on both fronts, or they will have to fight with full forces in the south and just leave the north in a 5 to 1 disadvantage, which is horrible. So either way, if this is true, if this information is true, which it most likely is, according to the fact that according to the fact that the Russians have been training soldiers here in Belarus since the start of the war, since April, this indicates that the Russians have now an army at the size of about 1.2 million troops of which half of them is in Belarus and the other half is in the south. 
that concludes my update. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.